My interviews, you know, we just interview high profiles and um, uh, those prominent guys, be on social media, my socialites, and my artists. We can say na what we need to do now. But today, we life here. We're going to be talking about life So today, um, we are joined by uh, Shadaya, popularly known as... Um, Dr. Love, a controversial social media figure who is known for his tweets attacking women. Uh, today, he is going to enlighten us uh, if he has anything against women uh, or maybe he is chasing cloud. So, to Tim Bonazo, I to say, Paronare na Mukoma and Mukoma Shadaya. And also, guys, we, will be, uh, we are live now. We are live on Facebook. Uh, go and log on to our Facebook page right now. Uh, that's uh, Star FM Zimbabwe. <laughs> That's where the action is. It's big. I mean, it's taking place right now. We're going to go to Pindam action. Um, okay, so again, we're going to go back to Namkoma Shadaya. Mkoma Shadaya. Okay, we're going to go to Mkoma Shadaya. What do you say? Hello. Yes, my guy. What do you say? Say, say, greetings. Say, say. Ah, it's like a knock. I'm Dara Shadaya. And we're going to go to the next one. We're going to live. We're going to go right now. We're going to go to Tibata. Mkoma Shadaya, what do you say? Kukumba. Kumba, kore bo. Kuchitungu is a guru ku fire. Eh, eh. Aywa. Muru pa chitan. Muru kwa nguku. Getu kwa nguku. Yes, she told in the musha wangu yoyo. Ah, nice one, nice one. Um, Goma Shadaya. So, who is um, who is Shadaya? Who? What, what's your real name? Uh, real name. Mm -hmm. The real name is Taona Knight Shadaya. Taona Knight Shadaya. Okay. So, thank you, Jalago Guti, Doctor Love. Tunuko wala bichungu nzi Doctor Love pa pa Twitter. You know, on Instagram, I'm going to tend to remember you, Papa Papa. And so, I think we're going to say, "Kuti Shadaya, Muno Agaida say." Shadaya, pretty much just like everyone, average guy, just trying to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And I just happen to be popular for saying the truth. Apparently, now you can become a celebrity for speaking, you know, fact. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm following. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically me. I'm just trying to make ends meet, you know, just like everyone else here in Zimbabwe, you know. Oh, nice. Uh, tell us briefly about uh, your background. Where were you born? How many are you in a family? And uh, also, who raised you? Uh, I was born in Chitungwiza. Um, I was raised by... Uh, my father passed away in 2012. I was around... Mm -hmm. I am the second second child in a family of kids. In a family of what? Four kids. Okay, okay. Oh, lovely. Uh, yes, I grew up. Uh, I grew up in Chitown, but we were always moving around because mm -hmm. my father was in the military. You know. Oh, okay. Ah, that's great. So, magenda which koro gubi mukoma shadai. Mm, grade one to three, I I was in Chita on uh, Zengeza five primary. Mm -hmm. Then uh, grade three, four, I was in Kwe Kwe uh, at a military school, mm -hmm. uh, Ngezi Barracks primary. Then we came back to Chita on. Then I did uh, my secondary in Chita on as well, St. Mary's uh you know, St. Mary's uh, Anglican Diocese, that's where I did my O-level. Mm -hmm. Then my A-level, I did it at a private institution. Okay. Then my tertiary, I did it at MSU. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Ah, wonderful. Shadaya, you are not um, <laughs> women's uh, favorite person. Uh, women feel attacked by your tweets because you are not going to post that you are not going to be sure. I mean, you are not going to be sure. 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 I mean, you are not going to say, are you labeled? I mean, in, in, even now, uh, right now, by, by social media, you are labeled a male chauvinist. Uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, do you think you are one? Uh, just to clear up things, women, they only hate me online. Mm -hmm. Offline, they love me. Believe me, my guy. Whenever, <laughs> you know, women who know me, meet me 
offline. They come screaming, you know, for pictures. Some, they even, you know, sexually harass mm. me, to be honest. Oh, you are being sexually harassed? Yes, by women, you know, they are always all over me and there's really nothing I can do. <laughs> all right. But are you a male uh, chauvinist? Um, mm. No, I'm actually a man with the B A double L S. Yes, that's, that's who I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here's the thing uh, we are now living in a world you could see women are now used to men, you know, uh, giving in to every, you know, demand, be it sensible or not, mm-hmm. you know. And then when you come, uh, you, you present yourself as a guy like me who doesn't take, you know, who doesn't uh, take that nonsense. Mm-hmm. You end up looking as if you hate women. But mm-hmm. in reality, I don't hate women. I just hate uh, entitlement and hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. Okay, wonderful. Uh, should we say uh, you have a natural hatred uh, towards them? Because I don't know natural can go budaga. Because my show, I go pound matter. Each and every tweet I go is being criticized. Each and every tweet I go, you know, face. I mean, criticism is very serious. So to know that you can natural hatred, you know, you know, you know, and uh, maybe you've suffered a heartbreak. Maybe before we wanna know for what are you bitter, Shadai? Why would I be bitter? I'm actually in a happy relationship. <laughs> Why would I be bitter? Be- some of the comments, some of the, I mean, the tweets you you you, you tweet on um on on social media. No, it's just the truth. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Uh-huh. Facts are stubborn. They don't care about feelings. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yes, I don't have any hatred towards women. I love women. Mm-hmm. I'm actually one of the few guys who want women to be great again. You know, mm-hmm. because right now what we have. We've got fewer, poor excuses of women, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'm actually trying to say to these ladies, ladies, you can actually become great again. You know, don't be fooled by this new wave of feminism and everything that you're being told on TV, on social media and stuff. Okay, tell us more. I because in Imimini Maya, because maybe you heartbreak. It's not good in the Rukutawara Zunis, but in those in the Rupa ground. Yes, yeah. thing. We've got, uh, if you look uh, uh social media, mm-hmm. 90% of the tweets by women, and it, yeah. they are all about entitlement. A man must, a man must, a man must, a man must. And Ukata Saipapo, she's never mentioning what she has to bring, mm. you know, to the table, what she has to bring into the relationship. It's all about a man must, mm. a man must, a man must. And I'm saying, no, yes, thing. to make a relationship work, it takes both partners. The man plays his role, but you also have to play your role. Mm. You see, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. And then when we look at this, like you're saying, uh, look, back in the day, we had uh, kids being raised in, you know, families with both uh, a father and a mother. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got the phenomena of the single mother. All right. The phenomena of the single mother. Mm -hmm. That actually shows you that something is now wrong with our society. But uh, woman uh, cannot uh, raise... Are you trying to say back then there was no uh, that phenomena of uh, single mothers? Because I I, 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 I I know some people who were raised by a, by single moms. How many do you know compared to this age? You'd find good inini mu ghetto mango, no. Ah, ndiga Buddha. You'd find good almost uh, in fact three quarters of the kids mm-hmm. of the young kids. Mm-hmm. They don't even you know live or know their fathers. They are being raised by their mothers. What what, what is causing that? That's the thing. You've got this new wave of feminism, you know, that told women you don't need a man. And that is wrong. You need a man. Women need a man. According to who? According to nature itself, women need a man. 
they are dependent on a man. There's no such thing as a strong and independent woman. Mm. It's actually BS, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, yes, then you find, for example, you've got these women uh, who are educated. They will say, I'm strong and independent. I don't need a man. Mm -hmm. I need it. But then when you look at it, the whole system is built uh, to cater to your needs. Mm -hmm. And it, you'd find with the adversity. For them to go to varsity, usually they are required to have less what less uh, qualifications than their male counterparts, mm. right? And then you find, with at the same time, they've got uh, our government has got these policies that favour women. Mm. You'd find, with even when it comes to things like scholarships, women are always the first preference, mm. right? And then after that, when you now uh, go into the, you know the job market, you'd find now employers, due to this uh, quota agenda, quota system, whatever they're calling it, mm -hmm. they take women first before what? Before men. And then, at the end of the day, this woman has been helped to reach uh, that level, whatever level she is, through what? Through the government, through society, through everyone. And then she goes in and says, I am strong and independent, when she was given out. Yeah, but but uh, uh, Shadai, on that note, is is there anything wrong? Could uh, you my anger assist to be it ne government or be it nema organizations? Could anger I a voice? Remember, uh, before or could you remember? Could you La rumi ndwango ine upper hand, and uh, now that Madzmai agu to no, we need a voice, and without uh, my voice our hands we kwe o. Kutiwanga wa chiza. No, it's uh, you know that I can also do better. Kuni wa rumi ukuti mzimba omo vano shanda. But I'm going to provide for the family. Kwete madzimai, anoshanda zishoma. Achwana mari ishoma. Kupinda murume wage, but I can support the whole family. Zinongora za tukutipangwe, ali strong, Zagare. So, aga zopua, muka, anote nyato, itazun, Zagare, nyato flourish, amushe, mushe. Panga wini cha kaipere, wapu chadea. What's your take on that? Now, yes, then. Opportunities should never be given. Mm. And it is a... When opportunities are given, it means that anyone, even the one who doesn't deserve it, is given. Mm. Opportunities are taken, Right? We've created a system here, good is only just because someone is a woman, she mm. should be given an opportunity. Mm. She's given an opportunity when there's someone who's more qualified than her, but mm. just because she's a woman, you're supposed to, you know, to mm. cater to her. Mm. I've got an example, like back in the day, uh, when Econet launched, uh, it's not an attack on Econet. Mm. When Econet launched uh, Quasar TV, mm -hmm. When they launched the Quasar TV, you'd find they were saying we want, they were picking women more than men. And then at the end of the day, when we look at it, who actually knows uh, the tech business, you know, like the satellite uh, or the entertainment business, men or women? You'd find it's men, but some or some. Why, 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 would, why, why do you say and it's men? No, 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 hold on. Why do you say wait, it's men? Wait, when when, when Madzmai Acho are going to which coro to do, I mean, uh, tech, uh, tech uh, the, the engineering, the technology, because she's a well versed in Azo. So, is there anything wrong? Why okay. are you saying that? Yeah. Okay, yes, thing, yes, thing. It's a well proven fact mm -hmm. for every woman in STEM. For mm. every woman in STEM, doing mm. STEM, mm. there are actually three guys, three guys doing a job for her. Mm. When you go to varsity, each woman who's doing a STEM program, mm. she has about three guys helping her on your assignments, on your practicals, on your <laughs> basically everything. You see, and then you want to tell me that men and women are equal. You know, <laughs> women, I'm not saying women don't deserve opportunities. Uh. They deserve opportunities, mm. but they, we, we cannot ignore my facts. A good program such as STEM, mm -hmm. they are tailored for men. Women should actually venture more into humanities, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, you know, you know what? Mm -hmm. how they were created you'd find good it's easier for a woman to be a teacher mm -hmm. it's easier for a woman to be you know a nurse it's easier for a woman to be a social worker and stuff mm -hmm. but it's difficult for her to be what mm -hmm. to be a doctor to be an engineer to be a woman, because already there is no spirit of adventurism in women mm -hmm. from growing up you find this what women they'll be playing with their dolls or some of them uh -huh. and, it, yeah. and then you've got boys they are fixing you know uh motkar the mawaya uh vargu bata bata tambo the magets i mean so vargu it you know uh -huh. adventurism is always there yeah, yeah. and it mm -hmm. like that nature we are trying to deny nature now saying women can become uh 
scientists. I'm not saying they can become, they cannot become scientists. Mm. They can become, but at the expense of what? At the expense of production, at the expense of performance, at the expense of everything. Mm -hmm. That's why you now have good the when you see, when you look at it, companies, most startup companies, mm. they fail if they have a larger number of women compared if they have a larger number of men. Already it shows you that men <laughs> are the ones who build. <laughs> women just move in. Okay, Shadai, I, I want to read uh, some comments uh, that which are coming through on our WhatsApp platform right now. Uh, Anzi, so when we say men, uh, this uh, men, uh, that like what you are referring as entitlement, where is the problem? And you say, do we need men? Why do you ask when you fully know that you are the provider and I'm just a helper? So this is coming from... Uh, exactly. Mm. Exa exactly. That's mm. the thing. Mm. My, I don't have a problem with playing the role of being a provider, of being a protector. Mm. When you also know your role, mm. your role is to be what? To be submissive to me mm. your role is to be my helper but mm. now it's with this you want me to be your protector mm -hmm. you want me to be your provider mm -hmm. but at the same time you don't want to be submissive you mm -hmm. don't want to be led that's the problem there and that's so, the problem and uh most of the guys on twitter or even here on whatsapp they are saying uh shadaya is delusional what's the take on that what, what, what do you have to say I have nothing to say to such guys. Those guys, we have a word for them. We call them S I M P S. <laughs> okay. Anzi, Larume, Lagabatsi, Wanani, Kuvanema voices, Iwayo. Let us not uh, uh, throw away cultural and biblical uh, concepts and foundation because of uh, foreign policies. Shadai Ari, right? Mpanamarwirananiwemchan. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's very much correct because you know, it's also men. Mm. We were never given anything on a platter. Uh -huh. We had to fight for everything we wanted. Yes, thing. Why did women wait for men to civilize the world and then start demanding mm. we want to be equal? Why didn't women uh, fight or complain or you know say we want our equal rights back in the day when? People, you know, were still living in the bushes, were still living in the jungles, hunting, mm. when wars were, you know, happening on a daily. Mm. Why didn't women say we want to be equal to men? We also want to go and fight, uh, you know, in those wars. We also want to go and hunt. We also want to do these things you're doing, men. They had to wait until the world was civilized. We've, we are now living in a world that is so civilized. Technology has uh -huh. made everything easy. Okay. And now women can now say, we you want know, to be equal to men. You know, men, uh, I mean, uh, most of the women here on social media, uh, on WhatsApp and uh, on your tweet, <laughs> Twitter handle as well, those who come, to, who follow your tweets, um, they regard you as a male chauvinist. Now, after uh, uh, all you've said right now, um, let me ask you again, are you a male chauvinist? I'm not a chauvinist. There is no <laughs> such thing as a chauvinist. It doesn't exist. It's a shaming. It's a shaming word mm -hmm. by women to try and you know emasculate men, to mm -hmm. try and shame men, to try and you know mock men from actually you know saying the real things from men mm -hmm. trying to you know to stop men from being men. Okay. There is no such thing as a chauvinist. All right. There is no such thing. Uh, fair point. Hans, Hans Ola, I'm a top scientist. No men helped me. Don't overgeneralize uh, Zinubudi Shadaya. Uh, what, what's your take? Hans, I'm a what? A scientist. Top scientist. Oh, she's a top scientist. Yes. Okay, here's the thing. You know, she's saying no one helped me, mm -hmm. Angelica, but mm -hmm. already she was helped by the policies we have. Mm -hmm. If she learned here in uh, in Zimbabwe, we all know the requirements for her to do that program were mm. actually lower compared to, you know, to the boys. So already, how can she say no one helped her? <laughs> Uh, my wife. How can you say no one helped you? I'm, I'm, going, I'm actually going through the, quest, uh, the, 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 the chats right now on uh, WhatsApp. Hanzi Uyamuna, Aka Sara, back in the patriarchal uh, age, um, he has issues with women. I could take him on a gender equ uh, equ equity uh, lecture. 
Ana not shut this a murmur. Madzi my I don't know Baba. Even on in Facebook right now, uh, guys, kuna chango tibata. We are live on Facebook uh, on our page Star FM. Uh, just log on to the page right now. We are live on Facebook, and you can drop on your you can drop uh, your comment on that uh, platform as well. Kuna maru tibata zagare. We are hosting a guy, my guy, <laughs> our guy <laughs> on social media. I don't see a Shadaya night. E wajin chano muzia achi pama fix aki haruku pa ya 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 asima fix aki aninga achi wandira zao pa kupokana nyesu nufungwa ni madzimai sakata ayo wale katimbo ya sotimpa platform timbo kurukula na etikinzu wakuti chino pa kuti apoka ni nifungwa jinjiz ni madzimai chi sakandozo haruku tisana ngu rapano shadaya um hey pane we message azonyo waga rebe ya sanchato rangu yangu kama nda kuti tati fambi fambi but i think um shadaya you know that uh, we are in uh, the days of uh, 16 days against uh, gender-based violence against women and children. Uh, does that mean anything to you? Okay, yes, thing. You, seem, you said we are in the 16 days of, uh, of acti uh, activism against gender-based violence, women and children. Gender, does it only refer to women? No. Where are the men there? <laughs> Shut <up. laughs> Where are the men there, or does the G stand for women? You know, like the gender, we only, you know, we mm -hmm. only refer to women. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, you know, when, when, I, when I hear about these so-called 16 days of gender, you know, activism, whatever they call it, mm. it's actually a fuss, to be honest. Mm. Another, you know, another way to give women the attention they get, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, in and out. That's the thing. Men are never mentioned. And when even you look at the posters, um, we got some flyers, we got some posters, and some adverts on TV, mm. you'd find it's always about a woman being abused. There is never a poster or a flyer or an ad with a man being abused. But men are also being abused. Okay, when you say abused, abuse is something that uh, maybe Chandrun's in detail. Um, this, I, I mean, this is who tender and natural and it can be abused on the eater. But what if the, 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 the woman had to apply uh, to be on that advert? Is it still abuse? Okay, uh, if I, no, if I, I'm not saying that, mm -hmm. I am saying this thing what kind of a message are you portraying out there mm -hmm. when everything, when you refer to you know this gender based violence, mm -hmm. you are only showing women as victims? Yet we've got men as victims as well. Mm -hmm. What message are you portraying? In other words, you're simply saying women are the victims, men are the perpetrators. You are demonizing and criminalizing masculinity. Mm -hmm. And what? Uh, purifying femininity. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's bad. Because at the end of the day, you've got these young boys, they grow up hating being men. And now you wonder how people end up being gay, to be honest. Mm -hmm. How can you end up not being gay when every day you're watching television and you're, you know, on social media, you're listening to radio and you're being told being a man is wrong. Be more feminine. Uh, uh, isn't it the message nowadays? Be more feminine. And then these guys end up being gay. I don't believe anyone is born naturally gay, to be honest. <laughs> you find with most of these gay guys. No, I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. Most of these gays gay guys at some point in time they were straight dudes they loved women but because of this brainwashing you know this brainwashing on mainstream media and social media they end up being what hmm. you know they end up hating being men hmm. we've got men hating being men because they're being told being a man is bad that's the thing hmm. okay okay uh, that's your so means actually as a child so means he has a child hmm. Yeah. Yes. But so me as a child, he <laughs> actually slept with a woman and then somehow somewhere ended up saying, Ah no, I'm not a dude. I'm going to be a woman now. <laughs> uh Shadaya. One of your tweets, uh you said a rap uh, victim reports to the police, not uh social media. I called it. Um this was after South African uh, media personality Amanda Dupont uh, took to social media that uh, she was raped by uh, Jab Jab um, for two years. Uh, don't you think the sensitive the singer Taurike because we don't know the full story, uh, Shadaya? Now, yes, thing. It's actually there is nothing sensitive about rape, to be honest, because we are now living in a world, Yaguti, when two adults 
two consenting adults, a man and a woman are in a relationship or they agree to have sex, and then somehow, some way, they end up, you know, being on each other's bedside, the woman can simply say, you raped me. Mm. You raped me. That's the thing. And what's the whole point of going on social media with your rape uh, allegations? There is nothing social media can help you with. Go to the police. The police deals with that. They take your issue to what? To the courts. Yes, they take your issues to the court of law, not the court of public opinion. Because the court of public opinion, they are only fueled by what? Emotionalism and sensationalism. In the court of law, they want facts, best evidence. That's the thing. But with what these women, you know, they always, yes, thing. You find with most of those so-called rape allegations that uh, surface on social media, they never make it to the police uh, police station, mm. which makes us doubt doubt them, their credibility, to be honest. And once we have uh, such a scenario, it takes away from real rape victims. That's mm. the point. It takes away from real rape victims because. I'm not denying that women are getting raped. Okay. But the, the, the same same time, are you for real party uh, rape is now or and again uh, overrated nature to other but that was about and at least was a dozen so as how about it? I was cushy ramba, could you a cat the wounds over Laruto bat and not only a cat even one Laru Repka Zuku Tibaro. Yeah. At the same time, now with what a scenario of uh, rape having been weaponized. Mm. A woman will now use rape to get bigger than men who hurt her or who did something wrong to her. Mm. That's the thing now. Mm -hmm. And it's taking away from real rape victims. That is why we are saying rape should be made punishable as it has always been. Rape is punishable. You know, I in Zimbabwe, I think it's about nine years, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then at the same time, we have to make false rape accusations criminal as well people who lie about being raped should be sent to jail as well that's the thing mm. okay that's an onion pop in the rip one of our wins going to be jail and don't show up much a day but now but i understand you have a degree in social work gosh is that correct and then yeah yeah i've got a degree in social work uh, so are you employed or maybe you are making a living uh, in social media? Uh, like they say, do you attack us? <laughs> I don't attack women. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, I earn a living from social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I won't reveal how, but I earn a living from social media. So that's why you, you, so you make sure that you tweet something uh, that's controversial for you to make money? No, I don't even make money from my Twitter. That's the thing. Okay. The thing is that I actually make money from, uh, it's not even Twitter, but I make money from social media. I actually manage, okay, yes, thing for hint. I actually manage pages for, mm -hmm. you know, big companies and big celebrities as well. Wow. I don't make money from my own pages. <laughs> so I'm going to engage you, my guy, to manage my pages as well. <laughs> So as long as no one knows. Okay, okay. Um, I did caught uh, some of your tweets uh, where you had uh, negative comments towards the women. Uh, Shadaya, there is uh, this one of the South African socialite Faith and Kathy, uh, who recently uh, cheated uh, on her boyfriend. Um, the other boyfriend bought her a Range Rover. Uh, <laughs> you shared your opinion on this matter, saying, uh, "I caught uh, uh, and no matter how much you spend." Women will always be women. Close quote. From the statement I just read, what you got out of town about the EFA faith in case in dear and name most and a good archit a boyfriend yagi. Go around Bongo to check it, the Rekataka Chakirizo, a Chicon Zero, Chakutanga, Zitre, maybe the boyfriend is not the one, uh, or maybe the boyfriend is the one and any problem. Oh, yes, thing. Yes, thing. No, they are not in one and other. When a woman cheats, we always look for a reason why did she cheat. Mm. But when a man cheats, ah, na kukuana, ah, na kusubata, ah, na dalakaji. Why? Uh huh. Why? Why do we, you know, rationalize a woman uh, misbehaving mm. and then we judge harshly a man for cheating? Mm. Why? Yeah, Mawan. Tell us. It never makes any sense because at the end of the day, it's because uh, women 
we associate them with what innocence and men we associate them with what uh evilness being bad mm. that's why we you know we always do such things and if papa in this case if cheating will always be wrong if you are not happy in the relationship mm -hmm. leave we can never rationalize cheating mm -hmm. leave if you are not happy mm -hmm. why are you cheating yeah yeah exactly why are you cheating simply leave Eh uh, shada night let's take a short break i will be back as soon yari borwa timbo nwira mvura mbijana uchimbo tura mafe moti chadzoka zvaine mwe mvunzo kana vakagumirira and also i'll be taking phone calls uh, by manje so even uh, mangma audios ari kutumiwa nana i'll play some of the audios uh, pa whatsapp number yedu 0758978897 kune vari kutumira ma audios tinokumbira at least ingwe to a maximum of 1 minute isazonyanya kuri besa audio yenyu and also no insults kana i audio nyine ma insults ati kwansi kuyi play we want facts we want my points uh we are mibvunzo yenyu inenge it is straight forward to shadaya or kana muda kuirana naye you can just uh, send ma uh, ma state i mean ma messages yenyu ananga achitsigira nezvo hari kutaura or kuda kupokana you are allowed to do so according uh, to eight that's our time on star fm so i'm going to read this comment uh, shadaya from a listener hansi he hansi shadaya still lives in uh, sto in the stone age yes the system lowers the end level for women in colleges but uh, the exit point is equal a uh, no to grading system uh, in the industry every woman uh, goes through the same interview men are subjected to if the guy fail to make strides in the industry let him not be a cry baby uh, women are also strong uh, because we now believe success is a fault uh, fault of not given uh, men just head because it's bruising their ego what's your take on this comment Ah, the women and the women women do the same thing in industry as men. Yeah. Okay, yes, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, let's say uh PPC cement mm -hmm. and it yeah. uh says it's hiring mm. workers and mm. it needs workers to vano simuza cement. Mm-hmm. And it yeah. Uh PPC, your team would have five employees. Mm. If it takes three women, okay. Le le let's men. not let's not mention my brands. Uh, 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 I should die. Let's just say, uh, give my examples for Ngoti. Say good example. Ngoti company is men. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Then let's say a company that is into cement making. Mm -hmm. And it is a yeah. Uh, wants to hire uh, a workforce. In English, it's a cura cement. And it is Yes. And then it say, uh, it, it wants five people. Mm -hmm. There is no machinery. It's going to be manual labor. Mm -hmm. And it is Yes. If it picks, uh, if it picks three women and two men, mm. and then in another scenario, it picks three men and two women. Mm. Uh, in what scenario is production going to be at its highest? Tell us. We all know because at the end of the day, it's the one with three men and mm. two women. Mm. And then you are saying women and men are equal in industry. They are never equal in industry. But Muma Rhodes are good guys. We must have to go on a match. My are good guys. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to Yes, thing. Yes, thing. You, you, you know, another interesting point. Mm -hmm. You'd find that most of the workers are what are men. Why aren't women organizations fighting for equality in such industries? Mm -hmm. When it comes to you know the difficult jobs like construction, like mining, uh, or you know those guys who organizers who clean up my glass, my glass, my building, my town, organize the guisa my gates. Why aren't women fighting uh, for equality in such such industries? Mm. The only time women want equality is when it comes to uh, ma ui ma ma base. We don't go to office or get up a desk. But Shadai Bangwai won't tell my comments. I go by Banibon, but Automons and I Giro, I would not see Zangubanab. 
No, I never, you know, to be honest, yes, then. Mm. Uh, when it comes to comments, I mainly look at comments from from guys. Mm. If a woman comments, usually I just mute. Mm -hmm. Because for me, there is nothing a woman says that is actually worth my time, to be honest. Why? Why should I? You can't say that. You, 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 they you, are emotional people. You, you know, I'm all about people who I, are I liked the, uh, the comment you say. I mean, there's, there's a time about um, you are also in a relationship. So sometimes maybe it's something. Do you uh, really believe in whatever she says? Or sometimes you say, ah, no, this is my app. Maybe I got you at the time. You think you are at one of the one who does your mind, my eye. Because you're also in a relationship. Tell us okay, your yeah, yes, they, yeah. When it comes to dealing with a woman, mm. is apply the same principles you you know you use when dealing with kids. Mm. Yes, that's the thing. Would you get uh, angry at a kid saying something stupid or something silly? It depends with the chiripa level rip. Sometimes there's a man just throw a No, I'm just saying the same way you deal with kids mm -hmm. is the same way you deal with women mm. because uh, that is when Pandino Tora Sasirangura is very controversial and stuff uh -huh. when I said women are just adult kids with breasts okay <laughs> that's Shadaya all right, Shada, you went viral after at, uh, after you attacked a um, uh, media personality, Miss Red, when she tweeted that uh, she was glad she had let go pe uh, of people who did not re realize her worth. Move my pin to you, Dr. Love, where you questioned her worth and uh, suggested that uh, if she had more than one baby daddy, she is the problem. You went on to say one baby daddy is equal to mistake, more than one, it's a habit. What's your beef with Miss Reddy? Uh, Miss, with Miss Red, I mean, and um, as no other trumpets, no other because some people on social media suggest that you might have feelings for her. But was Chimoko Chi heavy? Okay, yes, thing for me, to be honest, uh. I never look at women past the 25. <laughs> Shaddai, how old are you? I am 28 years old. You're 28? Yes. So, uh, when it comes to my pref uh? Your preference, you are going to say, you are going to Okay, for me, when it comes to women, 18 up to 22. But when you are going to need maturity, like the level, I go from the way I took the other one, you are going to need that maturity, you can't go to the end. Women never mature, that's the thing. <laughs> if you, I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful to anything. <laughs> if you ask your fathers, if you ask your grandfathers, when they look at your grandmothers, when they look at their mothers, mm. they still see mm. the same little girl you were dating back in, you know, in the day. Mm hmm. Okay. Women, uh, they never mature. They just grow old. Oh. So tell us about Miss Red. I asked you. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't have any beef with Miss Red mm -hmm. and I didn't attack you. I simply raised a point. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Miss Red. Uh, my apologies to her if she thinks I have anything against her. Okay, at least what I would say, uh, my apologies. Maybe both Pagati Kaka Kaka Ishuga Wano Kato Mata Shadaya Anyanya Chine Chine Chi. You know, it's no go itiga. So, okay, I understand. Are you married, Shadaya? No, why would I do something like that? Ah, so you tell me you are in a relationship, uh, uh, not for marriage, so you're wasting someone's daughter, I mean, uh, time in one way, woman. No, I'm not wasting your time. Mm. Yes, thing. Mm. I'm going to be living with you. I'm just not going to get married. Tell us. Uh, please elaborate. Okay, yes, thing. Mm. Uh, marriage was a great thing before the government got involved. Mm -hmm. But now it's nothing more than a business. Uh -huh. That is why you'd find uh, about... 60 to 80 percent of the divorces are being initiated by women mm -hmm. because at the end of the day women are the ones who get to benefit much from a divorce mm. okay right now when you look at it mm. there is nothing for a man in a marriage you gain nothing rather you lose everything you lose your freedom by being married why would i willingly give up my freedom
So pa ocha gara na ye uyu, u, a muskita zewa na or anything? We're going to have kids, we're going to have, you know, oh, the same way, you know, our parents were... I'm just not going to get, yes, yeah, Zing, I'm not going to get the government involved in my relationship. Okay, the, I'm never the marriage certificate. Document. You mean uh, the marriage certificate? Yes. That's I'm the one you're signing about. any document. Oh. Yes. Okay. Let's hear the uh, the, the, uh, the the comments from um Panapashadaya. Let me play this voice note. In Indian support and the Fungo the Shadaya because actually in Indian it was a recukatra shagayo, so the companies employed more women in Nebudaki, Jericho Mazwani, Shokunti, women empowerment. So the company is making us men suffer on the expense of women because they cannot go for extra hours working by nature, because no nature by nature. Uh, this safe industry like Kukoma Koma. Uh, they are not even good at it. Some of them you will see which are nature you ask for assistance, always ask for assistance. Right now I'm on night duty and I'm covering up a woman who was supposed to be there, but the nature, the company is um, employed um, more women. So the company's production will only suffer uh, extra hours in any way data from Cutbit to cheat out. Uh, that's catch uh cut bit. Let's hear the other one. Our Ruzivas or Tower and Kumaja Dai. Our Rukit. Marufa Bramja and Juina. When I shop at Novo Furagana Murodia, whenever she gets the Rogan and Ekans or Pepper and Ebachi Chair Wapai. What no room is shabbat room go, but tickets and a narrow pipe here, chair a pipe, a cuts of Angu Mira Kabach and Shuno. Tom Whitman Doma's Pavas, everybody, my one got to the work in the Ruchi, but our chair is a <laughs> okay, uh, because of our time, uh, maybe I couldn't play my voice on the Gawanda because I'm going to be at Fun Bay. So, on a normal day, uh, Shadaya, what does Shadaya do? Uh, what's your schedule like? Oh, Shadaya. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, Shadaya is, is very much uh, obsessed with his book, uh, writing his book, The mm -hmm. Book Women Hate. It consumes much of my time mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. uh, if i'm not writing on the book uh i have to you know upload articles on my website mm -hmm. and then i have to manage the pages that i told you actually manage on a professional level pages mm -hmm. at the same time i'm into things like website making and stuff website designing and stuff mm -hmm. oh okay uh, ah, that's great and then, mm -hmm. and then i'm happen to be a guy who's you know down for my deals mm -hmm. my <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I don't the type of my dearie, but in the moment, I'm a dealer <laughs> clean deals ah yes <laughs> okay thank you so much Adaya. so how can people get in touch with you thank you so much we really appreciate your time uh, so how can people get in touch with you in uh, maybe a few seconds because we are about to get into the news they can only find me on my social media and those just say Shadaya, you'll find Shadaya. Mm -hmm. Shadaya. okay mm -hmm. thank you so much Shadaya. Yeah. thank you is okay. All right. To you, my guy. Nice one. That was a shot. on the spot after drive with your chief a marshal Ola seven. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Ola seven, uh, uh, Instagram DJ Ola seven, Facebook page DJ Ola seven star FM. Follow me or follow you back. Kwanas Tomi Rapano. It's eight. It's time for the news.